Your opponent is going to hate playing against this Charizard, because unlike the other one, this one has a few more tricks up its sleeve. And what are they exactly? Well, first off, we have that Brave Wing attack. For one fire energy, 60 plus 100 if it has any damage counters on it, which of course synergizes very well with Magma Basin, putting two damage counters when accelerating energy from your discard part to your bench. And then we have the Explosion Vortex for four fire energy, which is a lot. Putting that aside, it still hits 330 damage, one it killing every Everything in the format apart from a couple of cards that actually come out in 151. So we have two shots and one shot potential built into one card. Well, how exactly are we charging up that vortex attack when we do need it? Unless with the terror version of Charizard EX being able to use the Infernal Rain, accelerate the energy into play, then it will instantly charge up and allow you to do an explosive vortex. And if you play smartly, which I probably won't today, but if you're skilled enough, you can still work on one with Magma Basin over time, effectively meaning we only really need two turns here because you're going attach a magma basin and the next turn again attach a magma basin and that's four energy although it's already turbo it's still usable but we're mainly focusing on brave wing because that opens up cheryl plays of discarding energy and healing all damage so how about we get in some games with this card and see how we do before we begin i'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel ptcgl store where you can buy codes with five percent off using a discount code ftw it's a way to support the channel whilst getting something in return so why not now with that said let's get going it's the zard versus the zard okay this is isn't ideal. Uh, we don't have the two-hit KO on the Charizard, but uh, let's see what happens. This is going to be my honest portrayal of Charizard, right? That's all these videos are. I'm not going to sit here and try and blag this new Charizard to be better than this one. That's stupid, okay? <laughs> I just want to try a different strategy and play this Heelzard. Hey, never know. It could be the deal breaker. It could be the difference, right? Because we are ourselves a 330 HP Pokemon. They aren't even one to KOing us unless they go down to what, like one prize remaining. So being able to heal off that kind of damage could be massive. So even though we're not taking the two-hit KO because we're Whiffing by literally 10 damage. We still might actually have a good uh, good matchup here if we get our heals right. And look at our setup as well. We're looking to Gucci, bro. They're getting a preemptive barrel and they are going to pass. They're lucky I don't have an Iono. Uh, yeah, uh, for sure, they would have been punished. Actually, to be fair, no, they wouldn't because we've got a six card hand. VIP pass. Let's get you and you. Do we got a double purloin here? Oh my god, we can. So I don't see any harm in that. Yeah, let's just load up our purloins, bro. Gonna get another Charmander and then I'm gonna get my Mew out because uh, I need to find a rare candy to at least have a chance of pulling something off next turn. We'll attach retreat and this is why the Purloin's in the deck by the way with the Leopard. It's not just because it avoids Greninja's. Because it's got one retreat cost it goes very well with the Magma Basin. You know what I mean? There's an Ultra Ball. Not what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to boss up the Bib Doof because they're going to evolve to Bib Barrel which has two energy retreat costs. That said if they get the Zard they, they can retreat anyway but it's more costly at least right? There is that Bib Barrel coming out. Now you could argue that I could have just done Bib Barrel and stuff like that but I just wanted to try a different engine and uh, when it sets up it's really nice but uh, when it doesn't, it gets a bit dicey with the small hand. There, there's an Arceus and a Charmander. And they go for a hard research, right? They had a rare candy, but they didn't have the other piece. Have they found the other piece now, though, after that research? Let's see. Pokemon League Headquarters, bit annoying. Means I can't just retreat this thing, which kind of gets in the way. And they pass. Okay, they whiffed hard. <laughs> and it's the rare candy top deck. The most annoying thing, though, is I can't actually retreat this Mew with it. Oh, that's so frustrating. All right, let's Mysterious Tail quickly. And we get nothing. Um, All right, so I guess we just Terrazard. And wait for the Mew to go down? I don't know. I guess we can just kind of chill and vibe, no? All right, let's do it. Um, But I, you know, I am going to attach one to the Mew because if we do get a stadium bounce, it leads us off the pivot. Let's just go for the Terrazard. Um, right, so this brings energy into play, which is nice. It sets up the Magma Basins as well when things get knocked out. But I do prefer the Terrazard in the... Oh, no, I can retreat, right? Oh, it's attacks used. Oh, I, this whole time I was clueless. Oh, wow. Ah, ah. Goes to show how little I've played against this thing. I know. Anyway, that's a burning dark. They're probably going to respond next turn, but we've started kicking off. Now we need to start working on our other Zards, maybe build up some Vortex attacks. That'd be kind of cool. There's a Magma Basin to start off there. What would be so cool, though, is being able to, like, heal off all the damage done to the Zard and then just come up with a fresh one. That'd be so nice. Um, anyway, they go for the Pidgey. I'm assuming they've got an Arceus out right after that research that they flopped. Another research. Let's see the hand. Wreck. Oh, oh, oh. They're two rare candy down without any use. Three. No shot. No, two. Why, am I, why, why did it artwork. Rare candy. This is this rare candy. You go here and it says two. Okay, they've just piled it up in a weird way. Okay, that bugged me out there. No, they've, they've got two rare candy left. That manual retreat to Arceus is also very interesting. I've never seen this Charizard flop like this. Just goes to show who's the better deck builder. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> I was such a fraud. There's an energy on the Charmeleon. A vengeful punch on the Arceus. Wow, they have nothing, do they? Jeepers creepers, bro. Oh my god. Well, it's obviously optimal here instead of going for Magma Basin to Ultra Ball and get myself a Leopard. So it means my top deck situations aren't so top decky. Yeah, we'll just do that and we'll go for a Burning Darkness. That's fine by me. We have more Magma Basins to work with and they are, they're bricking. Uh, interesting enough though, I guess they really wanted it because they just researched what I'm assuming is their second Bibar. No, sorry, what is their second battle? But I mean their last one. Okay, they manually evolve. They can fully charge up the Arceus, but I'm assuming they're going to just put the two on that and then retreat and start burning darkness. But we've got some good damage already put into play, which could be the deal breaker. And they do exactly what I would have thought. They're going to retreat and just start swinging, which is their best bet. I mean, look at this, bro. We're both kind of bricking still. <laughs> I just got lucky by getting the first Zard out. There's a 210 swing. So there is pressure now. We do need to start seeing something. There's a Carl Res. We'll take that any day of the week, my friend friend. Two rare candies. We can't lose that, bro. Come off it. That said, I am going to trade one away, but you know what I mean? Can't lose that. We do have two rod in here, though. Rod's quite good, but I think I can get rid of the one rod. Oh, no. To be fair, no, 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 no. I want to keep my rare candies. They could really be good. I need to see something here. Oh, not nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach to the Mew, and next turn, we're going to try and pivot that. So we're going to do a Burning Darkness 180, which thankfully actually sets up a KO with the other Zard, so that's fine. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. The maths works out just fine. <laughs> we do need to find our Magma Basin, though, even though I know I just ditched one, but I kind of had to. Maybe I should have got a damage pump in this deck or something, which I actually did put in. Like, I put it, I did put in two copies of damage pump, and I was like, mm, no, Magma Basin's fine. Anyway, let's see. We need a Magma Basin and a Charizard EX. That's all we need. Come on, baby. Sort me out here. Chorus experiment. Let's go. All right, so we get a Leopard, get a Chorus, and we get an Air Balloon. I don't like losing a Charmander. That feels bad. Yeah, that, that, I can't get rid of Charizard. I can't get rid of Charmander, bro. All right, let's do that. Gonna evolve to the Leopard. Attaching an energy actually is kind of useless here, but then again, we could still hit a 60 or something. Oh, that feels bad. Imagine hitting a 60. Could also discard the stadium. I could also do a heat tackle. So yeah. All right. I'll keep the energy. Uh, that said, to get rid of two rare candies doesn't feel good. I, ah, I can mysterious tail. I've completely forgotten. I can do that. Let's do that quickly. There's one rod. Another rod, of course. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to get rid of one of the rare candies. We, we do have Charmeleon to work with still. So that's that. Okay. We found it now. I'm going to trade away the Colrez because Iona's going to be quite strong. Oh, no, 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 no. Because Iona's, Iona's. Oh, yeah. That's true. We would Iona ourselves into a pretty tough spot. And our hands are looking quite nice. So maybe I actually get rid of Iona here. I'll get rid of Iono. No, we draw into one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I ultra ball. Get rid of a Chorus and an Energy? Oh no, I haven't got the... Ah, uh, I've done this wrong. I should have Super Rod and got Terra Terrazard back. Yeah, I should have got this back because I can at least respond with a KO then. But now, because I haven't got my Magma Basin, I can't put damage counters in play. Hmm. Unless we get an absolute clutch play here. Yeah, I've messed up badly. <laughs> but I'm going to try something, okay? I've messed up really bad. I'm instead going to go for a Leopard. This is stupid. But come on, bro. I, I've, I've misplayed and I'm trying to make up for it now. All right, I'm trying to make up for it. I'm going to evolve into the Leopard. This is so done. But if I get a Charizard here, then that would be like the Terra Charizard. That would be incredible. I don't know. I'm trying to make up for it. Come on. Oh, it's Cheryl. No. Okay. I have just misplayed into oblivion, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll pass. We have draw. Okay. We still have our tank heal strategy, right? Look at, look at them Cheryls, bro. We can still make it happen. I, uh, that was very dumb of me though. Ooh, they're probably going to gust one of my Charmanders. Bear in mind, I, I am two rods down now because of my misplay. So, uh, uh, good. All right, they get they use their star birth and grab two cards here. I would expect a boss. Oh, they can maybe just guarantee the Pidgeot and then that'll get them. The, yeah. No, they're going to go for Zard again. That's their last candy. So Pidgeot is not happening. At least I think that's their last candy. Oh no, I think it's their third. It was their third, not their last. I'm, I'm buzzing. Not buzzing. I'm bugging. There we go. There is the uh, Infernal Rain coming in. And the boss, so they're probably going to get a Charmander. Yeah, things are getting scary now. Very, very scary. Especially if we've prized a Charmander, then it gets very scary. Right, let's promote the Mew and let's see what we do from here. We've got a lot of draw though, so that's good. We've got a lot of draw in our... Oh, God, have I just had you last turn? Wow, that would have been such a game changer. But alas, here we are. I think we're going to really need to abuse our Cheryls here. So I'm going to be a risky geezer because, yeah, there we go. Because at the end of the day, mate, our Cheryls... They're going to save us. All right. They're going to heal us and we're going to be just fine. All right. Trust me. It's all part of the plan. All right. Go for Mysterious Tail. Maybe we get ourselves an escape rope or something. Another rare candy. I don't know if I should take that. I don't know because I've got this guy that stuff here. Maybe I get rid of the Ultra Ball. No, I get rid of the fire, don't I? Yeah, I get rid of the fire because I can Ultra Ball for a Charmander because I need to get another Charmander out at least. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's keep going. Get rid of a Manaphy. Our deck's getting quite thin, but there's the other Charmander. All right. Our doors are open. We now have the chance to rinse and repeat 
each Cheryl plays here, which could be huge for us. Okay, 160 for the KO. And they're going to swing. And then we just do the Cheryl plays, bro. I'm telling you. We're looking okay now. I think I think we're looking all right. Okay, there's the Yavazard and the Balloon, which is like the exact two cards I needed. <laughs> but I might try and get Terrazard because our Terrazard is just hitting more damage right now. So yeah, if I can heal, if I can Cheryl this turn and then come with Terrazard. Or maybe I Cheryl and go Brave. Hmm, no, I can't. I'd have to have two Brave Wings out. Bear in mind, we still have this to KO as well. Hmm, where was our, where's my bosses? I still have one boss left. Oh no, I think I played three bosses actually. So we still have bosses to play. Ah, see now that's thrown off to Cheryl, which is a bit of a pain. God, we're going to have to go to the real bottom, the, the depths of our deck, bro, to try and pull this off. A lot of our really good cards are like chilling at the bottom. There's an Ultra Ball. We get rid of a Charmander and an Escape Rope. An Escape Rope would be kind of big for us, but we still need the Magma Basin to pull it off. So they're going to boss. Bro, they're just getting rid of my Charmanders. <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, that, that's quite fair to be honest with you. I mean, it removes the Terrazard, right? Oh, that is so tricky. That means I need to double boss for game here. That's what I need to do. I need to see if I've got that play. Like, is the deck giving me that option here? There's only one way to find out. Let me Artisan. We've only got one boss. Okay, I have to boss, get prize cards, and then hope we get the boss from the prize cards. Oh, God, that's techie, bro. That's very techie. If I use all my Leopards, I draw six, which means I don't lose. And the also, I do draw the boss, and then it's between two cards, basically. Like, oh, oh, oh God, oh, my God. This is going to get so tight. I have to also boss up a single prize, so they can't want it KO me. And then boss up the Arceus after for game. Okay, that's our game plan. Let's run it. This has been an absolute annihilation of what this deck represents, but here we are. <laughs> boss? No. Okay. 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 Trade again. Trade again. Trade again. Give me the boss. Come on. Boss. Boss. No. Oh my God. Don't you dare make boss the last card in the deck. I swear to God, brother. Boss. Now. Okay. That was scary. You got me a bit scared. And now we have to get the boss from the prizes, okay? In order to see this through. I'm gonna get Bidoof. It has to be a boss or we lose. Let me attach this. I don't know if I could pull off a, a, a crazy explosive vortex plate. I don't know. Have I missed attachments that I maybe should have done and maybe I could have pulled that off? I don't know. Look, I was, I'm so occupied. This deck's very hard, okay? Oh my God, a one in three chance. I know if I KO'd the Arceus, it'd be a different thing, but the Terrazar would have insta KO'd us for game. So we have to check. One. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, 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 six. Come on, six. No, I guarantee it was number four. It was number four. It was four. I ran out of rods as well. If I had just a rod, I could have made something happen. Regardless, I have officially decked out. GG to my opponent. Yes, I know I could have won in many ways, but you know what? I had a good time. That was quite a fun game. We're playing Zard again, by the looks of it. Uh, so is this chance for redemption? The Zard, literally, this is the Zard Zard. That's bro. We are just Zarding today, aren't we? Oh, we've prized the Purloin. That's a bit frustrating. We do have a Leapard in hand though, so I'll take that. And I guess I could just go for another Charmander. Yeah, let's go for it. Got a Charmeleon chilling here as well. So uh, we're looking all right so far. Maybe I shouldn't have got that Mew then, not knowing I didn't have the pivot because the Mew's... Uh, I don't know. No, no, we can still utilize Mew quite well in this deck. So no, I'll, I'll keep it in there. I'm happy that I benched it or I'm not taking that back. Let's see how my opponent starts off though. There's a Chorus Experiment. Get rid of a Pidgey and a Heavy Ball. And they get a Battle VIP past themselves. Battle VIP has just become such a good card nowadays. Either way that they got a Charmander and an Entei V. But it's always a good card, wasn't it? But I don't know. People just start using it more. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bugging, bro. Let's just, let's just retract that statement. I uh, uh, plead the fifth, okay? I plead the fifth. They're going to go for a fleet footed and they just pass. Nothing crazy there to be fair. We, however, have uh, we have things in motion here, huh? I'm going to go for a Col Res before trading uh, because I don't want to trade these two away. Uh, you saw how important that Super Rod was in the last game. VIP pass can go an energy and a rare candy. That's fine, but <laughs> nothing here. I'm going to trade away or even now the trade is still tough, right? Uh, nah, trading in energy is alright to be fair, because that opens up Magma Basin. I'm just thinking if I, uh, if I could retreat, right? I could retreat this Purloin. Yeah, it's just not worth the extra stuff, is it? No. Ultra Ball. Okay. It does open up a Terrazard, which does put pressure. So I think we do that, right? And then, just like the last game, we can work on the, on the other basic Zards and try and clean up what a Terrazard missed, and mm, I don't know, actually. Or do I keep trading? I don't know. I think I go for the Entei Swing, right? I'm gonna get rid of a Cheryl, and I will get rid of a rod. I know it's important, but I think the red candy is more important. That said, if I'm Iona Wing next turn, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, because it would just go to the bottom of the deck, right? Okay, so let's get Terrazard out, and let's just get aggressive and swing. Get energy on the Purloin, on you, and on you. That's an easy retreat, and then next turn, we can work on our Tanky Zard. Bit of a shame I had to ditch a Cheryl, though. We don't play Pow Pad. I exchanged the Pow Pad for a third boss, which would have been nice if that came up in the earlier game, but no, unfortunately. There's another Colrez coming out. Get rid of an Iono and a Mew. We get an Arceus down. And another Charmander. And that's a red candy. So they are getting ready to go now. Are they going to have to 
attack the Entei though? That is the interesting question, huh? Accelerate to the Charizard and to the Entei. Put energy on the Zard. A fleet footed coming through there. And it is a burning Rondo. Now, I do want to get a swing on this, but you don't know. Oh, I guess we can. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really not against it, right? I I'm not going to trade this turn because all these cards are good. I can even bring that Terrazard back if I need to. But I do want to boss swing this. Because that sets up the KO following, right? So I think I am. I think I'm just gonna, we got the, we got the lucky top deck. That's a sign. We're just gonna go in and burning darkness this so we can hit a 160 to KO with the other Zard. And then as, as I said, we tank and like try and get, to, get the Cheryl stuff set up. Then we can boss this up later on and KO it. You know what I mean? Funnily enough, even uh, a Charmeleon can KO that. So you never know. Or a Leopard for that matter. There is the uh, fire energy on the Arcus V and a burning darkness in return for knockout. But we should be Okay. That said, I do need to get damage counters on this Charmeleon heart. Let's get the Mew up. We do need to find a Magma Base in two, though. Up. Oh, <laughs> top deck galore today. Loving it. I'm happy with that bad boy. Allow me to Super Rod two, because I actually need to get some energy back. I'm going to leave the Terrazard for now. Oh, do I bring it back? No, we had enough of Terrazard, all right? We don't want a Terrazard no more. We know it's better, all right? We're not stupid. Let's just go for an Iono. And yeah, okay. Yes, we ain't got the energy. But we can draw. We can dig. We can dig. Get Charmander down. I'm going to Nest Ball. Get another Charmander down to thin. We just need energy. We, we do also need the Charizard. <laughs> energy and Charizard is what we want. There's the Zard. Oh, no, no. I should have Mysterious Tail first to thin out because uh, I can't find energy otherwise. There's a Rod. Also a Rare Candy. I'll take the Rare Candy and I'm going to go for a trade. Get rid of the Manaphy. Just need an energy. That's all we need. Oh, no. We've whiffed again, lads. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We are all right. Just going to end turn here. We are pretty close, actually, to setting up a Cheryl situation, so we could make up for this pass here, but that's fine. We just have to hope they haven't got an Arcus V-Star to then boss me up. But even if they do, it's not a one-hit KO. There's an NTV coming down. Bounce the Magma Basin. That's a shame. Get an energy on the NTV. And they burn a darkness. Okay, right. So losing the Magma Basin kind of sucks. However, we are responding with a KO. And there's a boss KO further on down the line. Our hands are looking a lot nicer too. That's good. This is a good Colrus turn as well. Yeah, let's go for... Uh, can I artisan? No, I actually can't artisan for anything, right? Guess there's no harm in checking. Yeah, I can't. We have prized the Magma Basin as well. So we have to be careful here. Still need to get damage down on our other mons if we we want to pull off the Cheryl stuff. So yeah, let's just call res. Fire. We can lose one fire. We can get Rod back and I think we'll get a boss. Um, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of the Rod. I'm going to go for it. I think we want Air Balloon. I think that's what we're looking for. I'm actually going to... Do I get rid of the Ultra Ball? No, I'll get rid of the energy. I'll get rid of the energy there. I'll also get rid of the escape rope. Let's get rid of that bad boy. Okay, so we've got another Zard. That's what I was digging for. That's good. We went for an Air Balloon on that, but I will... Should I put an energy on it? Let's also bench this Charmander. I think we, being able to pivot would be nice. Actually, gonna put an energy maybe on this because maybe we can if we find Magma Basin we have it in for in play for a couple of turns maybe could build towards an explosive vortex but for now we just go for the brave wing take our KO we could find Magma Basin from the prizes and then get a Cheryl play going who knows oh, oh we got it okay this Cheryl could be massive it depends I mean at the end of the day they are still dead drawing they have come up with the weak one which is a really good thing because I wanted to boss that up this turn which means I couldn't Cheryl but if they're gonna attack with this then I'm then I, yeah I'm better off just trying to fight well, I've got to find it now, but I'm better off trying to find the Cheryl play. Maybe I should have attached that balloon, huh? I just didn't know which one to attach it to. Oh, we got a Magma Basin anyway. <laughs> just need to find the Cheryl. Okay, there's a Fleet Footed and then energy on the Charmeleon. Interesting energy attachments there, but they do go for the Entei. We just need to recover our Cheryl. Oh God, they had to Iona us, didn't they? <laughs> right, so I am going to attach to this Charmander again. Right, it's there. It's optional. Let's go for a trade. This is the Cheryl turn, but I, I don't know, man. We have to get lucky here. We have to get super lucky. I'm going to get rid of another Fire Energy. Let's do that. Actually, no. Do I get the fire energy for the... for the? Because I could Vortex next turn as well. What do I get rid of here? Hmm. I actually think Colrez. I think Colrez. I think we get rid of Colrez. Oh, we didn't get it. That's fine. I can still pivot though. So I can Magma Base in here onto a fresh one and then retreat for free. That's what the balloon does for us. So I can just come up with that one. And if they ain't got a boss, then I can actually Cheryl both of them, which would be quite a big deal. I'm going to recan into this bad boy now so we know it's safe. And that means next turn we have a Vortex. So even if they come up with a Charizard, we can one hit it's KO it with an explosive vortex, which is exactly what we want. So we're getting close to our goal here. And I have a feeling we are going to get there. There's the Charizard. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to get a juicy turn coming up. That said, it does depend on our top decks because all I'm going to need is a balloon. That's all I'm going to need now, which I chose not to attach. And I rightfully so, because that would have been on this Charizard. Ah, no, they could come up with this. Don't do that. Don't think they have the option to. They could Magma Basin and retreat.
street though. That would be a pain. But it won't run it KO me. And I can still pull off the Cheryl. So there's that. Then a defiance band. Oh my god, I don't even need to blue. Oh, I do need to blue. I thought I thought they KO'd me. They do KO me. Oh wow, I didn't see that. I forgot the defiance band done it, but they have just walked into death. Because I now don't need the balloon. I have the magma basin attachment and we're gonna finish off the game and the video with a energy explosive vortex. I got confused. It's not an energy. Now I just ruined the moment. There's explosive vortex coming in and we're gonna finish by one hit KOing a Charizard EX, the terror version. You thought you was better than me? Ha! Psych! Let's go, baby! Two prizes, and that's a GG! If you watch to the end, I want you to leave the comment redemption, because that's exactly what we achieved today. Here is the list. If you do want to try it out for yourself, it does actually work. Granted, the Terra Charizard is better. So <laughs> usually it's just better to play Terra Charizard. But if you want to play this one, this list is really, really fun. I really like it and I'm really happy with it. But it's also very big brain, which I, I kind of lack a bit of, as we know. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. Do you like it? Did enjoy? Please subscribe for more take care of yourself and Bye 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 bye. What did I? Okay, bye bye. <laughs>